We are so grateful that we've got His Holiness, Eunice Al Gahor here to do for us a process that will allow your heart, your spiritual heart, to be completely awakened. And your heart will experience things designed for you to experience. Each of us is unique and individual. Each of us created holy and complete. No two of us will have the same experience in our hearts. Your holiest of holy hearts, your spiritual heart, this process is being done for you in this ritual, in this process, in this ancient mystery teaching. And this beautiful, most auspicious time and day for us to be doing it. We have your holiness. Anything you so that you much. want to add to what I shared there for this process? Um, this process is uh, absolutely non-religious. And uh, it doesn't uh, ask for any commitment. Uh, whatever your lifestyle is, whoever you are, whatever you practice as a religion or faith, it has nothing to do with any of the cultural or religious um, um, backgrounds. Uh, the process is very simple. Um, what we tell people is that there is a soul dormant and it is sitting in our physical heart. That soul needs to be awakened. Only then our physical heart turns into a spiritual heart and it becomes a divine mirror. It needs polishing. Once it's been polished with the divine energy and the divine light and the soul that is sitting on the physical heart is activated, it begins to receive divine messages and it builds the bridge between men and God. So we have this process in which we implant and transmit divine energy with God's name. And um, in few seconds, this process is done. And hopefully, you'll feel considerable change in your life. Those who are wishing to experience um, this spiritual method, this spiritual process, they're welcome. Thank you so much. And so is there anything we need to do on our end to prepare to feel this? Uh, not for uh, pre preparation, but after this process is done, for a few days, you need to do a little bit of practice, especially when you go to bed. Put your palm on your heart and feel either the throbs of the heart, and if you can't find it, then feel your pulse in your wrist. And with every pulse or the beat of the heart, quietly in your heart, repeat God's name and do it until you fall asleep. Just do it for a few days and you will see a change. Thank you so much. And so, do we close our eyes for the process or keep them open? You, you have to close your eyes. And our name for God or our name for love or our name for universe. What? Because at some point you ask us to call this out. Will you just explain that process? Um, and what, what some of the names could be right. that could be utilized? Any name in any language that we use to call upon God is worthy of respect. Whether it's Bhagwan, Ram, or Allah, Khuda, Khuda, or Allah, God, Jesus, God, Mother Mary, anything, anything. Kuan Yin. Yes. Yes. Ahura Mazda. Ahura Mazda. Aloham. Aloham. Yahweh. Yahweh. Waheguru. Waheguru. All these names are wonderful names and they're worthy of great respect. And simply saying love yes. or flow or universe, yeah. beauty. But most beneficial in this way, which can expedite the process of the awakening of the heart is the original name of God, which is Allah. Allah. And let me clarify it to people who are not aware of the history of religions. Most people in the West think that Allah is a Muslim name given to God, but that is not true. 
And the reason why I say it, because Prophet Muhammad established the religion of Islam. And before him, there was no Islam. But Muhammad's father's name is Abdullah, which means Allah is not a Muslim name. It's for everybody. It's for, and um, quite often in the Jewish tradition and other faiths, they, all use the same name. they would use the same name that's written in all of the different languages as you're reading it. Um, the Aramaic, uh, Hebrew, Hebrew, these ancient languages, Semitic language, Semitic, um, and it's so beautiful. But whatever name works for you is great. And if you choose to try it with Allah, it's a beautiful way to have this ah vibrational sound go through your bones and through your bodies. La, again, those are your chakra systems being initiated and activated. Yeah. So going back to ah, we have studied these sounds and what they do to your body and what awakens for you. And so it is a very useful tool to use this to initiate, but it's vibration, it's frequency, it's feeling. And so being able to use the words or the feelings that most most open your experience to this that's true so um if everybody is ready and there is there is no issue with uh, the name allah then i begin the process you need to repeat after me a few times close your eyes please and if you put your palm on your heart it's better and say allah 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 That's all All you need to do now when you go to sleep Put your palm on your heart, and this is to feel the beats of your heart. And then with each beat, repeat the name Allah, Allah, Allah. What will happen in, in the next few days if you keep this practice? The word Allah will be synchronized in your beats. And once it is synchronized in your beating system, you no longer have to say it with the tip of your tongue. You no longer have to make any efforts. The remembrance and repetition of the name of God will become involuntary inside your heart. And it will continue. It will go on and on, regardless of your physical engagements, whether you're busy in your yoga classes or you're busy dancing or you're busy sleeping or you're talking to somebody but that name of god which will be synchronized as a result of this process and practice that will not stop it will become eternal commemoration of the divine name and this repetition of god's name will generate divine energy divine light and that divine light will reach all nook and cranny of our body. And also it will mingle, the divine energy will mingle in the bloodstream and our entire body will become spiritualized and full of light. And we will begin to have angelic characteristics and our heart will be polished with that divine energy. And once the heart is polished and becomes a mirror, anything that comes in front of the heart will start to reflect in the heart. This is what the Rumi said. This is spirituality. This is Sufism. And the Sufism, the Sufi path, is for everybody. Whether you're a Muslim or a Hindu or a Sikh or a Jew or a Christian, in the eyes of God, all are equal. The differences have been made by our politicians and the religious clergymen. God sees everybody with one eye, one side, the side of mercy, the side of bounty. This will bring about revolution in our life. This will 
get us to unification, the our ultimate goal, unity. Humanity will prevail. That's the aim of this spiritual evolution. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for staying with us. We love you. We'll unmute. If there's anything that you want to share, go ahead and share it. Jack, we're unmuting you. Let's see if we can. Ooh. What's your website? Um, goharshahi.us. G O H A R S H A H I dot US. Goharshahi dot US. So thank you, Anita. That was a brilliant question. Um, and David works with the Vatican, actually. Right. Um, David right here with the art with the Vatican, which is so beautiful to have you come participate and have this. Anything you want to share, David? Well, it was um, a, a pleasure for you to participate in what in the uh, accepting God into our hearts. And your facilitation of that, there's a... Um, a certain energy about you that um, compels one to trust you and, and for that trust to be uh, appropriate and well-earned, you know, safely. Um, and so in that, uh, uh, again, very much like yourself, Sarah, um, thank you for doing what you're doing, you know, for being a part of the transformation of the earth and for the unification of humankind. So, you know, you have my admiration. God bless you. Thank you so much, David. So glad you're here. Jack, I know we can't see you um, on camera, but we can bring your voice on. Jack, anything you want to share? I just, I am very impressed by the, the beauty of your intention and of the profundity of your words. Thank you. And um, the, the name of a, of a friend in Pakistan had come to mind, Rihan Alawala, who is a profound entrepreneur uh, who has created five or six foundations for the purposes of um, educating people so that they can uplift themselves in the world and be, be more participant in the rising of spirit throughout the world. Mm. Are you talking and about Rihanna? More universal citizens. Yeah, and, I know him as a friend with me. He's yeah. Friend. He's a wonderful guy. I, 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 I knew you must know him. <laughs> yeah. So beautiful. Thank you, Jack. Oh, thank you guys. Anyone else want to raise their hand and give feedback or share anything? Otherwise, we are going to go down and we thank you. We will see you on Wednesday, Wednesday evening for the next class and course. Love you guys. Will we see you on Facebook Live? And you'll you'll see us on Facebook Live down below as well. Wow. As now. <laughs> it's Sarah Shahina Larson as well as your page, Facebook page yes. is Jonas El Gohor. Yes. And it's already linked on Sarah Shahina Larson. If you go to the last few days, or the last few shares, you'll see a link to their Facebook as well with other lives that they've done. Mm -hmm. so we'll including see, today. Including yes. today. I'm so excited to see that. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys. We're ending the meeting now. Mwah, mwah. Bye for now. Thank you. Thank you.